This morning on Sunrise, two gunmen invaded a Lowndes County home with guns blazing. And the Hamilton community mourns the loss of a local teen and his grandmother. Those stories and more next. Your second hour of news starts right now. You're watching Sunrise on WCBI. Lowndes County deputies believe a Tabernacle Road home was targeted before gunmen burst through the doors, shooting one person inside the mobile home. Investigators say just before midnight Wednesday, at least two black males entered the home. They were armed and wearing camouflage and black clothing. The person that was shot is in stable condition. Deputies say two victims were assaulted and will recover. No arrests have been made. The investigation is ongoing, and it's unclear why the gunmen targeted the victims. A suspected peeping Tom is arrested in Tupelo after a witness reportedly spots him in the act. 23-year-old Derek Kimball is charged with voyeurism around lunchtime on Tuesday. Tupelo police were called to South Highland Drive for a possible peeping Tom. The witness on scene provided a good description of Kimball and police caught him a little while later walking on Bogan Avenue. Kimball was arraigned at Lee County Justice Court where Judge Chuck Hopkins set his bond at $3,500. The body of a Fayette man who has been has been recovered 10 days after he was thrown from his boat early yesterday morning. Uh, search crews from the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency and several local agencies recovered the body of 63-year-old Robert Lane Kemp from the Bear Creek Reservoir near Haleyville. Uh, Kemp had been missing since he fell out of a boat at the ramp on Upper Bear Lake July 10th. A big tragedy hits a small town, leaving residents in shock and sadness. A tragic accident took the life of two Monroe County residents Wednesday around noon. A Hamilton family was traveling to the beach when an SUV pulled into the path of the Tahoe the family was in on highways 45 and 145 in Clarksdale. The crash took away the lives of 16-year-old Gavin Toller and his 57-year-old grandmother, Tyla Toller. Uh, Tyla's husband and Gavin's grandfather, Rusty Toller, is in critical condition at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson. Mississippi High Highway Patrol Sergeant Andy West says seven people were inside the Tahoe when a van crashed into it. Friends of the Toller family tell us Gavin, his grandparents, his younger brother, and three of their friends were in the Tahoe. The Tullers are members of Hamilton Baptist Church, and their pastor, Robert Moore, spent time with the family in Jackson on Wednesday. Like I shared with the family last night at the hospital, uh, I wish I had some magic words that could make it all better, but we don't. And God doesn't uh, always ask us to understand why this happened and why at this time, uh, but he does ask us to put our faith and our trust in him. Gavin would have been a sophomore and a second-year quarterback this year at Hamilton High School. It is time to get the latest on our morning forecast. Here's meteorologist Alex Puckett. Alex? Thank you very much, Renee. Good morning to all of you out there. We'll start off the view from our Alpha Insurance Sky Cams in Columbus and in Tupelo. We're dry to kick things off and mainly clear, although we have seen a little bit of fog across portions of the area this morning. Don't expect any widespread travel issues for your morning commute. Temperatures in the 70s area wide. Some spots still in the upper 70s. 76 in Amory and in Hamilton. 77 in Tupelo. 75 in West Point and in Columbus. 72 in Starkville. 74 in Vernon. 71 in Louisville. As we get into the afternoon, heat index value is going to spike into the triple digits once again. Some spots can see those heat index values climb above 105. And that's why a heat advisory is in effect for much of our viewing area. In fact, our entire viewing area, with the exception of Lamar and Pickens County, is under that heat advisory until 7 o'clock this evening, just underlying the dangerous heat conditions we'll see as we go through the day. So as we go through the rest of the day today, actual air temperature is going to be topping out in the upper 90s, but as you saw, those heat index values are going to be well above that. Can't rule out a stray shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, but most spots will stay dry. Okay, all righty. And I, I don't know, I think it's important to say that in order to be dehydrated, water, I mean, in order to stay hydrated, Water is probably your best bet. Water I saw some is number viewers one. Number put one. Uh, pop or soda as mm. a way to stay hydrated. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Soda's Water. not a good idea. Water's going to be the best thing you can do uh, yeah. to stay hydrated. That's going to 
be the best option for Right. You. Okay. All right. You heard it from the expert. Time now to look at the Mississippi Peanuts question of the day. We are asking this morning, what's your go-to junk food? Charlene Goodwin says ice cream is her go-to, okay. uh, as does, uh, I believe it's J-Lo Marie ice cream as well for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, Valerie Diane says nacho cheese Doritos. Ooh, pretty good. I'm a ranch girl. I, I like I like the spicy nacho Doritos. Oh yeah, those are pretty I know good. What you're talking about. I'm getting a thumbs up from our, our uh, camera guy off screen here. <laughs> Sheila Clark says old Henry candy bar and a Pepsi. I don't know. I don't mm. know old Henry. Old Henry. Yeah, I don't know either. Anyway, uh, Penny Halford says fudge ripple <laughs> ice cream with crushed mint Oreos. Ooh, that mint pretty Oreos. good. Uh, David Fulton says McDonald's coffee and cheeseburgers. Me, I will I tell you what, McDonald's coffee. Is I'm amazing. not a coffee drinker. I don't know if McDonald's coffee is junk food, but the cheeseburgers, I, oh, I think, yeah. definitely qualify. Oh, yeah. definitely. You got to try some Mickey D's coffee. Mickey D's coffee? It'll turn you into a coffee lover. Oh, I promise. Maybe so. All right. <laughs> All right. Stick with us. We'll have more sunrise coming up right after the break. <laughs> 